A very good afternoon and welcome back to Havana Media. My name is Bonfeso Wino and as usual I'm going to be your host for today. Now, uh, I'm here with the Professor Fred Ogola. Uh, he has been away for a while. That is why we've not seen him. So we've not seen him here. And uh, today I want us to discuss something very different. Of course you know him so there is no need of me giving giving him time to maybe introduce himself, tell you who he is. Uh, he's Fred, he's, he's Professor Fredo Gola, a very prominent and known man, a very wise person. Uh, there's a saying that goes that uh, stay with the wise and you shall be wise. So right now you understand the direction that I'm taking. It's simply because of the guys that which I'm, means I've also been staying with the wise people. They say an iron sharpens uh, an, an iron. An iron sharpens an iron. Yeah. So we've been staying with the with the wise people, and I've also been staying with you. So yes. it's a, it's, and it's so our viewers don't forget about this. Mm. The more you stay with us, mm. you also sharpen us. Yeah, we sharpen you. Yeah, and we both be, all of us become wise. So we sharpen each other. Yes. Now uh, I want us to look at uh, something here, Prof. Uh, you know, all along we've been talking, we'll only be discussing about the, the Kenyan election or the politics in the country. But now today I want us to go beyond. I want us to look at something different. Uh, the election, look at, I want you to, to want us to look at the, the, the difference between the election that happens in the United States and Kenya. What, what normally happens? Because, okay, right now, uh, Kenyans, we did election back in 2022. Yeah. We are in 2024, we are approaching 2025. We are still in the election mood. Yes. Now, Americans, once they are done with the election, they start working for the people. Yes. Now, what makes us Kenya stick to, to this issue of politics every now and then, not working for the people? That's the first question. Before, instead of working for the people, the politicians keep on talking about politics every now and then. Yeah, first of all, Bonfess, the, there's something very fundamental you have to know. The human beings are fundamentally the same. Yeah. So the issues being discussed in the U.S. now mm. are the same here. Mm. Like you can see, that it's about healthcare. Yeah. We are discussing about healthcare. If you look at the manifesto for Kenya Kwanzaa, mm. the one for old, the one for Azimio, mm -hmm. you look at the one for ANC in South Africa. Mm. You compare with the ones in the U.S. now, Donald Trump, uh, Kamala Harris. Mm. The same fundamentals are there. So what is different between us is that for us. Mm -hmm. We allow ourselves to be told, I don't know, so-and-so is launching manifesto. In the U.S., even if you launch manifesto, they don't care. Mm. Americans, first of all, will come with the issues that affect them. Mm -hmm. And then they ask you, where do you stand on this issue? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And once you know where we stand, then they vote for you depending on where you stand. Someone can come and tell you, oh, I'll give you this and that. For example, there's a, someone who was campaigning somewhere in Luanyanza telling people that when he becomes MP, mm. He will marry for all the youth. All the youth. So <laughs> that is not their issue. Mm. Have they told you they want wives? Mm -hmm. Now with this economy, how many people want to get married? Very few. Very few, if there is any. Mm. If yeah. there is any. Yeah, those who are in marriages, they want to run away because <laughs> they can't <laughs> feed them. Yeah. When your wife wakes up and looks at you and you cannot put bread on the table and there's breakfast time, yeah. uh, how does breakfast look like <laughs> when there's no bread? So you see, it's becoming a difficult situation. Yeah. So uh americans normally they are the ones telling you these are our issues where do you stand and mm -hmm. the media will take you through them mm -hmm. and you know after the election normally kenyans uh mps discover the senators discover that they have spent a lot of money now they want to make money they so they start the creating issues mm -hmm. like now all the things being done people are creating issues you see like today how many lawyers did you see in court oh, uh, a lot of them. Very, very many, many of them are Even they come, all the old the old veterans they came back isn't they it came back Money was in town. Mm. Gachago had a wallet, Ruto had a wallet. So there are two wallets in, in, in the court yesterday. Mm. Either you are eating from Ruto's wallet or Gachago's wallet. wallet. But unfortunately for us, mm. the Ruto's wallet was Kenyan wallet. Mm. Actually, there was taxpayers' money mm. versus Gachago's wallet. Yeah, yeah. Because the attorney general was there. Who pays attorney general? The With all the counsel there, mm. they were spending their taxpayers' money. As you cheer Kenyans, look at what you are not seeing. Mm. Your money was being chewed in court. Since Ruto became president, all the petition in court is your money being chewed. Mm. You, you go to court again as chief, is your money going your to money, defend yeah. you, defend mm -hmm. that one. Uh, you went to court against the finance bill 2023, 2024. You went to court against the Appropriation Act. Everything that is going to court, Kenyan money taxpayers mm. being spent. And I can predict that uh, since William Ruto became president, he has spent between 250 billion mm. to 300 billion shillings in court Courts. cases. Mm. Because if, uh, if it's just a Kaja the other day paid a bill within one year 
of a of one billion shillings mm. in cases in Nairobi County, just one county. Just one county. Which cases are these ones? So it is the case that in Kenya, when after the election, mm -hmm. these people are incompetent. So whatever they promise you, they can't do. Mm -hmm. So start creating issues in the media. Mm -hmm. So for you, run after them, you run after them, then elections. For example, we are now almost halfway. Yeah. Isn't it? Mm -hmm. Nothing has happened. We are just in court. Mm -hmm. Mara now, deputy president, being impeached. Mm -hmm. Mara Dani, finance bill is being ruled on. Mm -hmm. Then tomorrow, he, I don't know, so and so has been abducted, so and so has been arrested. Then you hear that, I don't know, Turkish uh, foreigners are being chased away. You hear Ruto is lying in Germany. Ruto mm -hmm. is traveling to US. So we are just involved in our issues. But Americans, if economy does not perform when you are nearing an election, you don't get reelected. Mm -hmm. You don't get it. So, so the Americans, the Americans, the, the, before, you, before they elect you, they they ask you they give they tell you what they want and then they ask you your yeah. stand like for example to make this clear mm. americans have done research and found that the election for 2024 mm. which is taking place next month yeah. is about 11 issues so they had to put kamala harris mm -hmm. and uh, donald trump, trump mm. on where do you stand for example let me start with the first one inflation mm -hmm. on inflation kamala harris says he's going to fight inflation so that reduces inflation. Mm -hmm. But then Donald Trump says that he is going to also to fight inflation and make America affordable again. Yeah. Remember that Donald Trump talks about making America, America. great yeah. again. Yeah, and yeah, that yeah. is trending. Mm -hmm. uh, by the way, if there's anything Donald Trump is doing better than Kamala Harris is that Donald Trump's very good in communications. Mm -hmm. So remember communications and branding makes a candidate becomes much better. Mm -hmm. And I've talked about this story about the value of political branding. Uh, there's a segment I was talking about the issue of how um, uh, David Cameron mm -hmm. lost the, the vote on the Brexit. Mm -hmm. Because remember, the Brexit people branded that vote as Brexit. Uh -huh. So romantic, you know that? Looks very romantic. Mm -hmm. Looks colorful, isn't it? But the one of Cameron was a restay. Mm -hmm. So between stay and Brexit, which the, looks the, romantic. The Brexit. Then some people voted just because of that word Brexit. Mm -hmm. Remember in Kenya also it was about the hustler nomics versus Azimio. So you know yeah. Azimio hustler nomics yeah. bottom up, yeah. which is romantic. The, the bottom up hustler nomics, isn't yeah, it? So, so Raila was talking about what? Raila was Raila was talking about. Uh, there are a lot of things that Raila talked about. Is there a ten point agenda? Yeah. So between ten point agenda and Aslanomics, which one is more interesting? I, I think Aslanomics. So in this matter, in the US election, there are 11 issues which Americans want addressed. Mm. First, inflation. Mm -hmm. Second, on taxes. Mm. Third, abortion. Mm. Four, immigration. Mm. Five, foreign policy. Mm -hmm. Six is trade. Trade. Mm. You want to know what your position on trade? F seven, on climate. Uh, eighth, we talk about healthcare. Mm. Ninth, law and order. Mm. Tenth one is guns. And then the eleventh one is most surprising. You know what it is? Mm. Marijuana. So they want to know where do you stand on these eleven issues? Mm. That depending on how you stand, people who are concerned about inflation mm -hmm. are the low class people. The low class people. So they are concerned about how can they afford to mm. put bread on the bread on the table? How can they afford to feed their families? Mm. So here both of them, the, uh, Donald Trump and Kamala Harris stand for reducing inflation, so they're the same. Mm -hmm. Only that Trump has made it more romantic. Make America affordable, affordable again. again yeah. On taxation, they're different. Mm -hmm. Donald Trump wants to tax the, the lower class, class, the poor people, mm -hmm. the working class. Mm -hmm. um, and well, uh, because Donald Trump knows if you tax Americans, there are very many. You'll make a lot of taxes. Mm -hmm. Then please the rich people. Mm -hmm. But uh, Kamala Harris wants to tax the rich people and give tax breaks to the lower, to the lower, to the lower, to the lower poor people. So there, now, the poor people will tend to vote for this person. Well, for Kamala. Because but the rich people use their influence and money mm -hmm. to try to dissuade people from not. That's why you see Elon Musk, mm. who is a rich person, yeah. mm. is campaigning for Donald Trump, mm. isn't it? Mm. McDonald's mm -hmm. campaigning for Donald, Donald Trump. Trump yeah. They are trying to ensure that if they low, if they if they ensure that they they reduce paying taxes in Donald Trump's government, mm. then they are not they are able to run their yeah, businesses. Yeah, so businesses. all of the big corporates will are be they, more yeah. even 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 some media houses like Sky News, mm. Donald Trump. Mm. Most companies in New York, U.S., uh, Washington, they are with him. Mm. 
Now we come to the issue of abortion. Mm. On abortion, uh, Donald Trump says abortion is a sin. Mm. So a woman should not be able to be given rights to, to do abortion. abortion. But you see, Democrats always stood that you need to do, what do you whatever want. you want with your body. Mm. Do It is do. your body, do yes, what you, you want. Do what you want. It's the woman's body that is important. Mm. My body, my choice, mm. isn't it? So my body, my choice is the Harris, Kamala mm. Harris mm. one. Eh? And uh, abortion is a sin because Trump believes I'm a, pento, I'm I'm a Pentecostal. 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 Yeah. Pentecostal tend to be to be a little bit strict. Mm-hmm. Just yeah. like in Kenya here, Pentecostal don't believe you should drink alcohol, isn't it? Mm. But Catholics say, man, mm. it's what goes out of the body, oh, not okay. what goes what inside. Goes in, yeah. So, hey, in Giza, we don't attack, yeah. but whatever yeah. comes out should be okay. Yeah. So, Kisha Meza Pombe, she would too him too. So, that's what they talk about. Then the other thing, the fourth one is immigration. Mm. Immigration, Trump believes that People should not come to the U.S. In mm-hmm. fact, he should build a border a bo- across yeah. Mexico yeah. to separate Mexico from coming from the U.S. In fact, last election he said he'll build the, the, the perimeter the, wall, perimeter wall, yeah. and make Mexicans pay for it. Mm. While while Kamala Harris says, "I want to streamline how immigrants can comfortably come to the U.S." Now, for the Americans who believe that their jobs are going to be lost when immigrants go to the U.S., mm-hmm. they are going to like Donald Trump. Trump. Yeah, but they are going to dislike who. Kamala Kamala. Harris. Yeah. But there are some companies who want workers to go to the U.S. Mm-hmm. Also, there are companies who talk about American green card, all these things. So the companies that are more pro-immigration mm-hmm. will give it to Kamala, Kamala Harris. Yeah. So where you stand is the issue. Mm-hmm. Then you go to trade. Donald Trump believes that you should impose a lot of tariffs to goods getting into the U.S. Mm-hmm. so that Americans can get their jobs back. Mm-hmm. Americans give back to American jobs again. So if you tax companies that are importing into the U.S., mm. you give incentive to companies in the U.S. to do production locally mm. and the ones to export mm-hmm. and also supply to the U.S. economy. Mm. So that is the stance of Donald Trump. Kamala Harris believes that, no, that won't work. You reduce the tariffs. Mm. And in fact, they even go to a figure. Like Donald Trump says, between 12, mm. 10 to 20 percent tariffs mm. on imported goods. But Kamala Harris is zero. zero yeah. Then of course climate. You know Republicans don't believe on climate change. You know that they don't. They don't believe. They don't believe that there's something climate change. What is climate change to uh, Republicans? So it's something stupid. Mm. But that's the case. So re- Democrats believe there's climate change. Mm. So they are going to invest money on fighting climate change. Like you see, uh, have you seen uh, during Joe Biden's campaign? Mm. So you heard about these things about uh, climate change, yeah. greening the, the environment, yeah, yeah. and uh, conferences taking place mm. about climate the change. Climate change. During Trump, those nonsense won't be there. <laughs> 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 they don't believe on climate change, so they don't put money. Mm. You saw IMF and World Bank gave money to Kenya on planting trees, yeah, yeah, isn't plant, it? Yeah. So Donald Trump said, what the hell are you planting trees You're wasting for? money. They, 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 there's no climate change. What is cli- what's changing what in the is climate change? Yeah, what is changing yeah, in the so climate change? Republicans don't seem to suggest to mm-hmm. believe it, but of course me as a Kenyan, I believe that there's climate mm-hmm. change. Yeah. And then the issue of healthcare. Donald Trump believes that you cannot be giving poor people mm-hmm. insurance so that when they are sick, they go for free. They should work for it. Mm-hmm. So he wants to abolish the so-called the, 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 the Obamacare. He hates Obamacare. Mm-hmm. Mm. He hates the issue of insurance and the rest. And now we go to the eighth one, law and order. Mm. You know, Trump is a convict. So he doesn't like these things of law and order, and he does not like these things of saying you are, uh, you are trying to uh, bring liberalism and democracy mm. around the issue of trying people. Mm-hmm. And actually Trump believes that all the Democrat states are run by criminals. So he needs to be very strict with them. So you see, (laughs) in fact, that's a campaign by saying that Democrats are encouraging lawlessness in the U.S. Mm. Uh, That's why he's saying that they're criminals, they're corrupt. But but, uh, these guys are saying, no, what's happening? Mm. We need to have freedom, whereby if you make any mistake, you need to be tried, you're innocent, um, and still proven guilty. Mm. But Trump believes if you're a thief, you're a thief. Why are we wasting time to discuss about uh, them? Then the 10th one, Mm. the second last one is guns. Mm -hmm. Um, you know that um, Americans are discussing about whether you should give people guns or not. Or and not, on yeah. this matter, Trump believes that why are you be able to give people guns? That's why you saw even though this game was saying someone shot him. Yeah, yeah. So these people are shooting him. He believes there's loneliness when you give people guns. Mm. While uh, Democrats believe give people rights to have guns. Remember yeah. that guns are uh, American American states where Democrats come from are normally more poorer states. Mm-hmm. 
and there are people who have illegal guns. They mm-hmm. want to use guns for this and that. Those gun shots that are happening all of us happen. It's happened for most of those areas. So that's it. and the last one is marijuana. Mm. Yeah, of course you know very well that. Uh, Marijuana has been taken where people come from Soweto, you know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like in Kenya here. Yeah. If you say marijuana, mm. it's not people from Karen, who cares? Yeah, yeah. Marijuana are people, my guys ghetto, from Madare, the, the Madare ghetto area. Yeah. So you see, t- the, the Democrats are more from ghetto. So mm. if you talk about marijuana, you touch them. Mm. And now I told you that Kenya and the U.S. is not different, isn't it? Mm. Who was talking about marijuana? Well, yeah. So marijuana is an issue in the U.S. Mm-hmm. It's also an issue in Kenya. Mm. Do you buy the idea? I remember there's another policeman who told me he's a, he's a very big policeman in Malin. I won't mention his name and department. Mm. That Trump went to Malin and told them that they should be able to advertise, to advertise that he wants to plant weed mm-hmm. all the way from Lamu along the coastline mm. up to, up to Diani. Mm-hmm. And that ma- he, he should be given a chance, but he was told, my brother, you know, uh, marijuana is illegal in Kenya, so we cannot tell you we are going to gazette. Yeah, Actually, yeah, yes, yeah. gazette land. He wanted it to, to be gazetted. To be gazetted so yeah. that he can plant marijuana. So Wajakoya had his point, uh, and you see, it's also an issue in the U.S. So don't think Wajakoya was a madman. Wajakoya is not a madman. Wajakoya is a very brilliant man. Mm. The only thing is that maybe he lacks what you call temperance here and there. So you see, that's how American works. So now, after you, they see where you stand, mm. In each of the 11 issues, when elections are over, mm. they want to see you implementing what you said. What you said. Because they have recordings of what you said on mm-hmm. each and every position. Mm. But in Kenya here, Kenyans don't even record what William, William people were saying. Mm-hmm. We are not the one telling Ruto what we want. Ruto is the one who told us what he wants what for he, us. Uh, 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 yeah. So when he does not do it, uh, who are we to tell him what to do? He says, maybe that's not relevant. So the bottom up, Kenyans didn't tell him. Mm-hmm. And the one who told, told us. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, hustler the economics hustler. Mm-hmm. is one who came with it. It's not us who told him. Mm-hmm. So this is the parallel and the differences in the US. But let me tell you what, every country are the same because every country wants food. So if people eat in the US, yeah. they eat here. Mm-hmm. So if people want to see how much is food, mm-hmm. can I afford it? Employment. In the US, they work, mm-hmm. we also work. Mm-hmm. Employment is an issue. So most of the issues we have in Kenya are across, mm-hmm. across the board, mm-hmm. also similar in the US. So Human beings are basic. They must eat, mm. they must sleep, they get sick, isn't it? Mm. They want education. So there's nothing that is special about the U.S. election from us. Ours is that for us, we are more of lying, mm. misleading, mm. lack of trust, mm-hmm. and more corruption. Remember the corruption, not an issue here. Yeah, by the U.S., there is no corruption. Uh, no, no, there's corruption, but, but it's not, not an issue. Yeah, it's not an issue. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, can, they, they talk about, they don't, in fact, they don't even mention that because... Uh, yeah, uh, it, because now... Everybody lies about it. But you see, corruption is just like uh, cold weather. Mm. You didn't call people say, hey, it's very cold. But what are you doing about it? Put on a sweater. Why are you talking about sweater, cold? Yeah, yeah. So instead of saying there's corruption, stop it. Mm. Don't discuss it. Mm. Just do something about it. Mm. And uh, also, you know, in, um, in Kenya, I remember when Obama came here, Obama said that corruption is an issue mm. everywhere. But in Kenya, he said it's a crisis. So for us... Yeah. Corruption is an issue in Kenya, just uh-huh. like it's an issue in the U.S. Uh-huh. But in Kenya, it's, it's a, now a, a crisis. crisis. Corruption is a crisis. It's, it's the reason why you are impeaching the deputy president. Mm-hmm. Because he's corrupt. Mm-hmm. So his fellow corrupt person is impeaching, he's impeaching him, him. isn't it? Yeah. It's the reason why you want to buy the airport away, mm-hmm. isn't it? Adani, mm-hmm. corruption. Chief, mm-hmm. corruption. Mm-hmm. E-citizen, mm-hmm. it's about corruption. corruption. Electoral system is about corruption. Everything is about corruption. Senate, mm. corruption. Parliament. Parliament, yeah. corruption. People collecting money to vote mm-hmm. without their head. You know, I looked at those members of Parliament and Senate saying that, mm. is there anybody thinking? Is there anybody thinking? Uh, a few of them, maybe one or two. No, 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 no. no. I don't, I, even those ones, you know, in the Senate, it's about host trading. Mm. I've told you here. In the Senate, there are two wallets. Mm. One wallet for William Ruto. And one the other wallet Gachagua. for Gachagua. Mm. So you pick one of them and vote. Mm. That was the issue. Maybe you can say Gachagua is not offering you a lot of money, but mm. there's some little money. Mm-hmm. Just pick that, but keep your reputation. So some senators mm-hmm. also mm-hmm. voted, but they took money. Mm. None of them, I was told, mm. votes for free. And if there's anybody who can prove this, who can come to challenge me on this, mm. I can show you where they pick the money. Like I told you last time that Ichungwa was having an office. Yeah, yeah. And, and then the Junet. Junet was having an mm. office. So you pass by Junet, you, you, you pick sign, your, you, 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 you pick your 30,000, you go. 
and then again 500,000 mm. the same way Mm. Then you saw Gakuya, MP of Emakazi, is confirming. Mm. And I said it before. Yeah, yeah, he confirmed. So what I'm trying to say here is that uh, we are very similar. We just want decency. Mm. There's a bit of some decency. Mm. So what we lack here is decency. In Kenya, we don't have it. Mm. And 